started back in uh, 2002. I uh, was at a park in Mint Hill and uh, saw some people throw some discs at a basket. Had my kids out there just playing when they were young and um, went to Eckerd's, bought a little Whammo Frisbee, played a couple holes, thought it was a pretty good idea. So we came out to the property and made a nice little short little course and started playing other disc golf courses around the area, Reedy Creek, Hornet's Nest, and got a feel of what disc golf was about, how to play it. And uh, bought a chainsaw, started cutting some trees, and had a pretty good little course built for about seven or eight years, and then we had a little property dispute. And we lost the, uh, the back part of the course, which was the prettiest, of course. But um, almost shut it down, but everybody kept telling me to, to revamp and redesign, so uh, we studied it for about two or three months and decided to go ahead and try it again and got 21 holes and got some real creative shots, uh, stump holes and rock holes and trampoline holes, and more like a, a miniature golf course basically in disc golf style. And we've got a hundred members that have really helped pitched in over the years and we're all doing fundraisers and tournaments, charity tournaments, whatever we can do to help out the community and uh, building a little um, pro shop with uh, disc and games for people just to come out and relax, enjoy the property and get away from it all for a while. And the glow part of it is another thing. I really wanted to have a night course that could be really enjoyable. So we put spotlights on all the holes and different angles to show the baskets in different perspectives. And um, it's really a unique course at night. I hope everybody enjoys it this year. We're really promoting it this year for people to come out and enjoy the night course part of it. What's the Well, there's no trees at night. So you, uh, you go up there and you're like, man, you can't see the trees. And I said, exactly. So you don't think about it. You go out there and you just throw into the abyss there. And it's amazing how you don't hit the trees. And it's so cool to watch the flight of the disc and going into the basket. And it's just a whole different experience for disc golf, I think. I really li I like it better at night than I do during the day. I play better at night than, during, than I do during the day. And uh, like I said, it's, get, it's growing more and more around the area. You hear a lot more glow leaves coming up. And they've come up with cooler lights that stick on the disc and don't affect the flight. And, and it's just kind of fun to watch the path of the lights. Alright, You have a good shot of them coming in at you now, huh? Be careful. Who are you talking to? Yeah. I don't have a flashlight.
down there. It's already out of here. Get it? Probably. It said he's leaving for his going. Oh my god. I was actually kidding too, but I just was like, okay. I was like, my heart was gonna drop with you. And then I was like, man. Good job. We should have had that time. Oh my god. So we still got two more holes trying to get under par. Now what do we do? That was 12. We got to do one and two. We got one and two. You would throw the fucking black. <laughs> <laughs>
Right there. <laughs> it don't stay on the rock often. If it's on the rock, it's a gimme. Here you go, buddy. 